Today, the Department of Justice, along with 16 states, sued Apple. And you know what? I think it was a shameful day. A shameful day indeed, because I am telling you, there is no merit to this case. Now, you know me as someone who said for ages and ages, not to mention a gigantic amount of points, that you should own Apple. Don't trade it. Why do I say it? Because Apple sells at a particularly low price to earnings or sales ratio? No, not really. Because it's got the hottest technology out there and it's just crushing it royally over so many different industries in a positive way? No, actually, that's NVIDIA. Watch our special tonight at 8, my special interview with Jensen Wong, the CEO of NVIDIA, if you want to know my other own it, don't trade it stock. No, no, no. I say own Apple, don't trade it. Because it's the most innovative consumer product technology company ever. Technology company. Creating things we know and love and trust with the highest customer satisfaction rate of any business on earth. Apple never makes anything unless it's as perfect as it can be made. I say own it, don't trade it. Because the phone represents an actual great bargain. Something you can get with a telephone line that's subsidized by the carriers. So you barely even know the cost. And if you can't pay, then you can buy one used, which is often as good as new. Why? Because it's Apple. I say own it, don't trade it, because they care about my privacy and protect it better than any other company on earth. To say nothing about Uncle Sam, which I don't when I consider this lawsuit, get whether they try to protect our privacy at all. I say own it, don't trade it, because Apple makes its ecosystem available to millions of developers who in turn have hired millions of people, taking back the mantle of manufacturing that our country lost years ago. And today, just today, I just got a whole brand spanking new reason to own Apple, don't trade it. I know a loser case when I see one, and the United States of America versus Apple is a loser. As I used to say on the trading desk, not today, Satan. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Cramer on X. Have a question? Tweet Cramer. Hashtag Mad Mentions. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com. Or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.